Happy Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a freshly harvested cornfield located in western Kentucky. In this region of the country, corn is followed by winter wheat in the annual crop rotation, and this farm is using a Case IH Precision Air Seeding Team to no-till the new crop into the standing corn stalks. This farm utilizes a 340 engine horsepower, 290 P2 horsepower Case IH 340 Magnum tractor. To operate their 40 foot wide Case IH 500 precision disc air drill and 2355 precision air cart that holds 350 bushels of winter wheat seed. In this video I will take viewers up into the cab of the Case IH 340 Magnum tractor to visit with the operator and talk with him about the technology that operates this no-till seeding operation. So let's head out to the field now so you can see how this big equipment works. I'm up in the cab of the Case IH 340 Magnum with the 40 foot wide Case IH 500 air drill. We're going to take a look at the operator's perspective of running this tractor and drill. There's a lot of technology that goes into seeding wheat these days. Uh, what kind of acreage a day do you try to get with a drill like this? I try to do 200 on a normal on a normal day I would call it uh, when I say normal I mean you know from nine o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night so hopefully just good running and not having to jump around too yes. much from field to field yes uh, on a big field like yes there's 311 312 acres here uh, I mean yeah two to 225 is uh, is would be a good day I would consider and how many acres can you run on the uh, the cart before you have to refill it? Uh, my current rate, 158 pounds an acre. Uh, you're looking at somewhere around 110 to 120, give or take. And now you're using uh, Ag Leader technology here to uh, map your field and take a look at what the planner is doing here. Now I know one question that comes up from a lot of our viewers is uh, tow behind and tow between tanks. Uh, this way you have a pretty good view, but we're coming up to a corner here on the headland. It probably makes it a little harder to get in the corners with a tow behind. Or... Uh, yes. Um, you know, the last drill we had was a, a Great Plains 3510 and it was a tow between. And I always struggled, you know, seeing what was happening with the drill. And this one, as you see a tow behind, I think I like it a lot better because I can see better, you know, what's happening. So I prefer this one, I believe. So that was the second iPad there that keeps an eye on all your row units, or? Yeah, it's running uh, Intelligent Ag blockage, wireless blockage monitor. Okay. It's an interesting setup, actually. I mean, of course, like the name says, wireless. Uh, it, it actually works like a stethoscope. It actually picks up pings that the seed hits on a little stainless steel plate and sends it through a tube, and then ECMs back here pick up a signal and transfer it up here to this. So the, the red lines on here actually show where a seed isn't flowing right now, but we're just to transport to the next section of the field. Here we can see the auto guidance taking over now as the tractor starts making 40 foot passes back and forth. And as the tractor approaches the Headland in this corner, we'll hear some beeps and then it'll be time to turn it around. We can see the map as it paints on where the seed's going. Once the 
tractor is turned around, the auto guidance will steer it right back into the row. How do you like this uh, 500 precision drill for no-till? It looks like it's working through the socks pretty well. It, it is. It's doing a lot better than I could imagine. It's. I was a little skeptical at first about heavy residue with uh, with the corn crop from this year, but it seems to be doing a really good job. And it looks like you're typically traveling at about just under five miles per hour when you're when you're drilling here. Uh, yeah. Um, the stalks are still heavy from all the cool weather and, and rain that we had. When it's really dry conditions and the stalks are dry, I can get up close to six. But uh, when they're wet, you really need to give it time to, to cut through them. So we're start we're starting the headland here. So you actually, over the winter time, make the boundaries of the field so it'll be able to use auto guidance to plant. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, we uh, usually plant our inrows last, if at all possible, especially in heavy conditions like this. It makes up for a lot better seabed. Uh, so we'll plant all the center part of the field, and then we'll come back and do all the inrows. And uh, just makes a little better on the seed when you're planting. So we can see it's uh, starting to paint on the map there. And how many passes across the, the we boundary usually, do you make? We usually do two, 80 feet. Okay. See the tractor is on auto guide here, and up until recently, a lot of farms have had to go to manual from the GPS just to plant the edros. But now that technology is getting built in, where the tractor can just go on cruise and do this as well. see a close-up view of the Case IH 500 Precision Air Drill at work, no-tilling in the winter wheat seed. This operation places the seed directly in the soil without having to turn over the ground or disturb the residue on the surface of the field. Once this Case IH Precision Air Seeding Team has finished planting the field, it's time to fold up and head down the road to begin seeding the next field. This big 40 foot wide air drill folds up to 18 feet wide.
I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field and up in the cab with this Case IH winter wheat seeding team. Does your farming operation raise winter wheat or other small grains? What type of tractor and drill are you operating to put your crop in the ground? I'd like to hear about it in the comments section below this video. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching. 